This is how it's supposed to be I remember once when you were close to me I guess this is what it feels like I guess this is what it feels like Is this how it's supposed to be? Run away, leave me with the memories I guess this is what it feels like I'm giving up on everything yeah, I can't forget with the sheets on my bed and things on my chest and I'm trying to let it weigh me down. And now you're all alone in a city that never sleeps. Bury my mistakes in the snow and I watch you free. Tell I might go So hit me back when it's over. Oh, am I not? <laughs> I totally thought I muted like my mic. So I was just like typing like, oh, announcements. I have no idea how loud my music is to me comparatively, but it's probably not going to be a lot of music, so that's fine. But so I was just like typing to let like my discord know that I was anime, that I was getting started. So. Yeah, so we're getting started. Also, I have dinner with me because I just got home uh, from the gym because I ran late because I got distracted and lost track of the time. So I'm also going to be trying to finish my dinner during this. But you know, I'm going to try not to have that interrupt a lot, okay? Oh, now I know why it didn't work. The key that I use, the key bind I do that mutes my mic isn't active for some reason. Uh, let me do that real quick. Uh, <laughs> where are the buttons? Mic. Okay, mute. Minus key. Unmute. Plus sign. Mukbang time. No! <laughs> also, uh, Radiance, I saw it earlier in chat. I actually did dye my hair recently. It was, I originally dyed it purple, but for some reason it came out looking like this burgundy reddish color. But yeah. Okay, so let's pause that, probably not royalty-free music, and let's get started. So, we are going to, first of all, switch to my live scene. Here is Adobe Animate, which recently updated to Adobe Animate 2020. So, we are here to kind of learn our way around and go through a majority of the tutorials. So, actually... Adobe Animate has this little nice video that shows everything that you can do with Adobe Animate. So I'm actually going to show that first and we will see together. Oh, it's loud. Are you guys not seeing the video? Because I, I see the video, but I'm not seeing it on my stream. I'm really confused. Hang on. Tutorial time, tutorial time. Is this playing? Is it playing? It's just... I'm like looking at my stream and it's just showing as a black screen. Is it just a black screen or can you guys see the video? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Hang on, is it be is it because it's not part of the <laughs> minute? Hang on. Um add uh okay, we're just going to quickly capture uh, display capture, add source, add, not that one, this one. We're just going to quickly do this. <laughs> okay, let's start that over. Here we go again.
essentially what we're going to be trying to learn today. Okay, back to my other thing. So, get rid of that. There was like this thing that popped up where it's just like, are you new to anime? And I hit yes. And then I had this idea where I wanted to stream it. So I closed the program. And when I opened it up again, I thought it would like ask again. Because, you know, The Sims always does that to me. But instead, it just showed me this. So I'm just like, man, I hope I didn't miss out on the tour. But anyway, the first thing it was showing was about the bouncing ball animation. <clears throat> in 12 easy steps, let's learn the basics of anime and create a bouncing ball. Watch the video to learn essentials before getting started. Am I just going to have to keep the other display capture up? Watch intro video. God Hi damn there. it. Ah, Welcome wait, to stop the talking. New Adobe. Turning this back on. Okay, are you guys ready to learn? It's classroom time. Hi there. Welcome to the new Adobe Animate. In this beginner's tutorial, you'll learn to create a bouncing ball animation using the basic features of Animate. Hang on, I'm trying to make it bigger. Can I make this bigger? It's like so small. Okay, I guess it's fine. Let's start again. <laughs> Before we get started, we need to cover three basic concepts of animation. Knowing these will help you better understand and complete the tutorial. The first concept is frame by frame animation. This is traditional animation, where each frame is drawn one at a time, just as if you were drawing on paper. Each new position is drawn on its own frame. This is the timeline where you create frames. Create your drawing on the first keyframe. Now, add a new keyframe. Change the position and add another keyframe. Change the position again, and so on. Play the animation to see all of your frames in beautiful motion. The second concept is using onion skin. Enable the onion skin feature with this icon. Now you can see the previous frames in order to draw, trace, or displace the current drawing. You can also increase or decrease the range of previous and upcoming frames using this handle. Using the onion skin feature will help you create smooth and consistent animation. The last concept is squash and stretch. This is where animated objects squash or stretch to emphasize their speed, momentum, weight, and mass. Here's a bouncing ball drawn with squash and stretch. And here's one without squash and stretch. See the difference? The amount that an object squashes and stretches says something about its mass. The more squash and stretch, the softer the object and the less squash and stretch, the stiffer the object. With a basic understanding of frame-by-frame -frame animation, onion skinning, and squash and stretch, you're ready to start animating your bouncing ball. Click the Get Started button to start the tutorial. Happy animating! I'm like eating as much as I can while the video's going. Let's do this! Get started! <clears throat> Draw a circle. Use the oval tool. I'm going to be following these directions like to the T. Draw a circle. Use oval tool to draw a circle on top of your stage as shown in the video. Use shift key for a perfect circle. Got it. Let's do that. Which is the circle. There we go. Next. This is the timeline. In the next steps, let's try making animation by inserting keyframes into the Oh, I just realized how the timeline changed. Got it. <laughs> Can I change this? I don't... I don't... What? I don't like that it shows the ball. <laughs> That's really throwing me off. <laughs> Insert keyframe and move ball. Insert a new keyframe that will get set in the timeline using selection tool to move the ball as shown. Okay, so this... Did I... Did I move it? Oh god. And then I'll just... 
same energy me signing up to my class MS. <laughs> okay, we move the ball. Enable onion skin. Got it. Oh, that's way too I don't want that much displacement in the first thing. That's like the build up. Let me There. Next. Continue animating. Keep inserting keyframes and moving the ball down until it reaches the bottom of the stage. Got it. Does this still work? Wrong button. Ah, hotkeys! <laughs> okay, then let's give this one a little bit more space. Okay, so yeah, so we're just doing this part. Uh, let me delete that frame. Uh, shift. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, six. I keep forgetting what hotkey it is. Hello, hey Goda. Welcome to. <laughs> We're learning the basics of animation once again. God, if I don't do this ball bounce right, my animation teacher is going to be so disappointed in me. Mm. The ball reaches the bottom. Okay, we've done that. Next. Play basic animation. Let's play what we've created. Quick play on the icon. Cool. 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 Hmm. Let's do... Got a little bit more space, so this one leads into the next one a little better. Okay, let's try that again. Oh. God, they changed the timeline so much. I'm back, sorry I'm a tad late, hope I didn't miss much. Don't worry, uh, re the Hamilton addict, me big boy. I'm just gonna call you Hamilton. We are just getting started. We just like watched like the intro video and we're doing the first assignment, which is a bouncing ball using the oval tool. I think that's good enough. Next, squatch and stretch. Let's apply the squatch and stretch to, look, uh, to our animation next steps. Got it. Select the last frame. Okay. And squash the ball. Uh, control T. Ooh, why is that over there? I just realized my entire, oh god, please get back there. Oh hey, what? Guys, look, the simplest thing is a little club. That's so cute. Let me get some, like, at least some ambient music in the background. <clears throat> Royalty free streaming music. Shit, music. Just so it, like, for my quiet moments. 12 hours of free gaming music, perfect. Okay, and just let me know how that is. Hello, hello, Breezy Dreamer. Welcome to this. Okay. Squash and oh god, can I like fix how everything is positioned? Everything is, where are all my tools? Where is everything? Oh no! My layout! Oh god, what did I do? Okay, first of all, I need my tools on this side. Oh god. No, I want it on the side. There we go. Close that. And then I need my colors on this side. That's fine how it is. Where are my swatches? What's this? This needs to be over here. Uh, that goes above my properties. Where are my swatches? Where's my... Is that what this is? Oh god. What did I do? I want that color back. <laughs> Where are my swatches? I'll find them later. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, back to what we were doing. Uh, show frame. And then just like, let's zoom out a little bit, put that at 97. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're squashing and squashing. Control T. No, what is it? Is it Shift T? Shift T. Okay, I'm pressing this button then. I guess I can't just not press the button. Come down. That's where we want the biggest impact. Next! Bounce back animation. In the next set, let's try reversing frames you created to bounce the ball, to bounce back the ball. Okay, so. So let's copy this frame. No, oh, what did I press? What did I press? Oh god. Copy frames. Paste and overwrite. Awesome. Wait a sec. Where's the one I squashed? Where? What? Where'd it go? Did I, oh, did I like accidentally paste over it? Whoops. Paste frame. Let's bring that down. Move that a little bit. But this is when it's bouncing back. F6. Let's see how that looks so far. Oh. Okay, first off, I need to add some squashing to these ones. Hello! Hi, Kamsika! Yes, such royalty freeness. Oof. Gotta run real quick. Good luck figuring this out. Thank you, Hamilton! And then we do the big stretch. And then this is like coming back down to normal. And then bam. So that should look better. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're figuring this out. We got this! like one of the first animation assignments they ever have you do. We got this. I got this. The guys are figuring it out. Uh, I need how it looks back as a ball. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this one. We'll see. Nice and over, right? Thank you. Okay, we're gonna get this like spaced out first and then we're gonna squash and stretch to make things easier. Right click, select all frames. Wait, I'm not doing what it says, guys. I'm going off the tutorial, that's wrong. Hang on. Dropped watermelon on my keyboard. Oh no! Damn right, and I've never done the tutorials. This kind of makes me want to do them. You can do them along with me, Breezy. Got any suggestions on what I should focus on? Um, I've just started learning more about character designs, but make sure one of the things that's kind of like drilled into you is just make sure that they have distinct silhouettes so that even in like shadows, you can still like kind of tell them apart. Okay, I'm not, guys, I'm not doing what, I'm not doing what the tutorial said. I'm messing up. Okay, so the last one they did was the one where it squashed. So I'm gonna take away all these. No, wait, I want those frames still stretched. I'm just gonna delete these two. Delete. That didn't work. Remove frames! Okay, what's it saying? Right click, select all frames. Right click. Select all frames. Right click, copy frames. Right click. Copy frames, yeah. On the last frame and reverse.
I'm next paste on first frame select first frame then right click paste frames there we go I was like really confused for a hot second okay and then we just press play oh that's not enough space timing there is a hard stop when it gets to the bottom. What is causing that? Duh, duh, duh. Okay, next I did that. Preview animation, animation's ready, click preview. Oh! Hey! I wanna, give me a sec, I wanna clean this up a bit. Like having this be a little wider and have it coming back from the bottom. I can't see where the bottom is. Like that. Nope. Too far. Nope. 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 So it's snapping to the bottom, so I guess that's fine. Da, da, da. Oh. No, no, no. And then this. A little bigger coming forward because it just bounced. Mm. Preview. Okay, and I want this to start a little higher than where the first one starts. So that way, when it comes back up, it reaches the peak and then it comes back down. It's either like, it's either put it a little higher or actually, let's actually put it a little lower. No, 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 let's do it higher. We did it! The only thing is it's really, this, I feel like I have an idea. Let's move this up and let's, Make it not as intense. And then this one will move down and make not as intense. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks better. What do you guys think? How did I do? <laughs> is that thing up on my stream? Why is that there? That should be, that should fade away if there's no activity. Uh, event list, edit. Uh, visual settings, source, refresh browser when scene becomes active. Yes. There we go. So it should fade away. It should fade away. It should fade away. Thanks, guys. That reverse frames thing is going to be interesting though. I think I would not have known about that. So that's going to be interesting to know about. Is it going away? Is it not going away? It's not going away. Why isn't it going away? Why isn't the event list going away? It's only supposed to like show up visual settings. Keep event, don't keep event history. There we go. That way now when there's a new event, it'll pop up, but it's not just like sitting there. Also, what do you guys think of this little Sierra I have on the stream? My friend did it for me because I commissioned them and I'm so happy with it. <laughs> Alright. Success! First tutorial done. I still know how to animate. <laughs> Next. Save file. Great and It's good to save your file. Awesome. Next. I didn't do it yet. Hang on. File. Save. Oh! Ah! No! Hide! I have things in here! I had no idea. I couldn't remember what the last thing I worked on is. And I was like, was I working on Kill the Queen concepts the last time I opened my files? And I couldn't remember. So I thought it was gonna like open and all these like things I haven't shown were just gonna be like, hey, look at me. Okay, I put this in my videos. Where's my videos? Videos. Videos. Uh, flash. Let's do tutorial one dash fallbacks. 
What's well, reverse frame? That was the thing that was showed in the tutorial where um, I like, uh, like I, s ooh gosh, like I selected an. Okay, this is really throwing me off. I selected it, and then I was able to hit this, which reversed the order that the frames went in. So that's interesting. I like that. Export GIF to share it in social media. File, export, export animated GIF. Ooh, file, export. Support animated GIF! Guys, I think it's about to crash. <laughs> okay, it did it! <laughs> oh, and it's transparent! Interesting. Um. That's gonna be helpful. I always had such a shitty time trying to make things transparent before. Uh, let's save. Videos. I'm just gonna make a folder titled tutorials that's specifically for this. Okay, quick questions with chaos if you don't mind answering. I recently got a drawing tablet and I haven't, I'm having a tough, and I'm, and I'm having a tough time learning how to use it. Any tips? Uh, is it a screen tablet or a drawing, like a, or you draw on the tablet, but you still have to look at like a monitor. Or do you draw directly on the tablet because there's like a screen on it? Okay. Guys, we did it. End. Good job. To explore more from help hands-on tutorials. Would you like to keep this workspace? You can change it later. My frames are back to how I, I know them to be. It was really throwing me off. The second one? The one without a screen? Can't see what you're drawing on the tablet. Oh yeah, those can be super disorientating. Uh, essentially, you just have to get used to not looking at the tablet. So it's essentially you have to look at your screen and you just have to get used to how your hand moves moving what's going to be on your monitor. So you can't be looking down at the tablet. It's really hard to first get used to. Okay, so apparently we go to help. Hit shit. Wrong button. Help. Hands-on tutorial. Dancing flames. This video will introduce you to the basic building blocks of keyframe animation such as symbol and tween. Let's watch that intro video. Hi there. Welcome again to the new Adobe Animate. In the first tutorial, we introduced the basics of using the timeline and keyframes with a bouncing ball animation. In this tutorial, you'll learn about symbols it's and tweens and create a simple fire animation. Ooh, Let's start with symbols. A fire, in its simplest form, is a collection of flames. Think of each flame as a symbol. A symbol is a reusable object created in Animate. In our example, once you create a symbol for one flame, you can use multiple instances of it to create a fire. First, let's talk about how to create a symbol. Simply select an object on the stage and then click on this Convert to Symbol icon. Double-clicking a symbol leads to Symbol Editing Mode. Each symbol has a unique timeline and stage. You can add frames, keyframes, and layers to the symbol timeline just as you can to the main timeline. Any symbol that you create automatically becomes part of the line. Quick pause that this is actually going to be like super helpful for me because I never really understood symbols. We continue. Library for the current document. From the library, you can drag and drop new instances of symbols into your stage. Each instance of a symbol has the same identical animation but it can be different from its parent symbol in color and size. Editing the symbol updates all of its instances, but applying effects to an instance of a symbol updates only that instance. Now let's talk about tweening. A character can have multiple key poses like this flame. Notice that the animation jumps from one pose to the other. This can be smoothed by either drawing in-between poses or using a technique called tweening, where Animate automatically generates the in-between frames. The character should be a symbol as shown earlier. 
you can click the Create Classic Tween icon and add different keyframes for different poses. The interpolated frames of a tweened animation appear as light purple with an arrow drawn between the keyframes. Notice how smooth the animation looks now. With these basics, you're ready to start the tutorial. Just click the Get Started button. Happy animating! I wasn't ready, hang on. Oh, my hands are covered in sauce. Guys, I'm lost in the sauce. <laughs> Give me two seconds, I'm gonna play the music while I get my hands cleaned up. Okay, the sauce has been lost. Let's do this. Get started. Painting flames. Let's get this fire crackling in 17 easy steps. Let's start by adding the tools you require. Start. Add Polystar tool. This will help you customize the toolbar. Click here and drag the Polystar poly to poly. Which one's the Polystar? this one this one yeah yeah i'm gonna put it uh above square okay poly star tool added quick tip properties panel is a one-stop shop for all settings related to tool object frame and document Plot it. draw a triangle change the number of sides to Woo! that's interesting Oh. Guys, I'm fascinated. <laughs> so you draw a triangle at the center of the stage as shown above. Put it. <laughs> Hang on, wait. I don't want it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why is it doing? Nope. 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 Straight. There we go. Did it! <laughs> Draw a triangle. Free transform tool. Looks great! Select the free transform tool. Did they. God! They readjusted my setup! Put around. I put the dice you later. Bye bye, Hamilton! Uh, select free transform tool. Triangle. Are we just stretching it? Yeah, we're just stretching it. Next, a symbol. A symbol is a reusable object that can be used to create instances from a single object. In our example, once you create a symbol for flame, you can reuse it to create instances and variations of the flame. Got it. Convert the symbol. Under the object tab, I have the object. Who's this one? Convert to symbol. Flame. We're keeping it as a graphic, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Okay. Next. Enter flame symbol. Double click the to view the timeline of flame symbol. Each symbol has a timeline. I just I'm like reading, so I double click this. Yes. Got it. Quick tip. Meeting automatically generates frames in between two keyframes. It can be used to create simple keyframes. Yeah, got it. Click the keyframe and click the select the keyframe on the timeline and click the icon create classic tween. And I click OK when prompted. Okay. Oh, interesting. Shift the anchor point of the triangle to the base. Okay. I feel like I got rid of the tween. <laughs> Where'd it go? Flame. Oh, I just totally, I like, did it wrong. Okay, next. Add keyframes. Flame is ready for animation. Insert keyframes at frame 12 and 24. Uh, F6. 
and 24 already has one. Wash the triangle out, click on keyframe tool, and use free transform tool to level the plane. Oh, no, that's not at the bottom like it should be. Squash. And then... Oh, <laughs> wait! Wait a minute, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't... I don't think that's correct. <laughs> Why is it doing that? We got one thing we here for moral support. Thank you for joining me, Coda. What? Why? <laughs> Why? Why is it doing that? Why is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm just gonna try and get it back up to the others. F6? this was it i don't hey, hang on let's start let's start over let's let's, let's start over <laughs> remove the tween get rid of this remove <laughs> remove the tween <laughs> delete <laughs> that didn't work uh, clear keyframe shift f5 okay let's try again <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the previous step to see if I messed up. Create a tween, okay. Click the keyframe. Click on the icon, create a classic tween. We did it. Okay, shift the anchor point of the triangle to the base. Why can I not? Okay, here we go. To the oh too far. To the base. Okay. Create a keyframe at 12 and 24. Okay. Squash the triangle. And then click play. There we go. We did it, guys. On the back arrow to exit edit symbol. Got it. Create copies. Hold Alt. Then okay, hold Alt and key and drag. Oh. 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 <laughs> you just create a whole forest. I don't know how many I'm supposed to make. How many was I supposed to make? <laughs> Hang on. Before I get too crazy. One. Three. Okay, let's stick with three. Extend keyframe. Select frame 24 and press one press on the icon to extend the frame. Or I could use what is known as a hotkey. But I can't, guys. We're doing as the tutorial says. Long press. Frame. Got it. Nope. Don't want to do that. Okay. This will increase the duration of the motion plus play. Look at that. It's like magic. Customize the symbol. To create variations in motion, click on each flame and select play and loop. Now set the value to any number between 1 and 24. Okay. What button was it? Go back to the loop first. Uh, let's have 1 be 8. That didn't do it. 8. 
did it do it? Eight. There we go. This one, the first of this one will be uh, 18. We don't want this to be like two in sync. In this, do I have two of them starting at eight? I have two of them starting at eight. And this one will start at one. Can I loop this? Just one see. Okay, I guess I didn't loop it far enough. See, look at that. Look at us. I'm that I'm that Paul Rudd meme where he's like, look at us. Look at us. Can you imagine? Look at us. We select any triangle. Select tint. Under color effect. When you want to get up there, and change tint values as shown above. 100%. And this one down. And how far did it want me to bring that one down? Yes, I'm watching. Tint is 100. Red is 250. 111. Okay. Perfect. Play as a preview. Oh, I probably should. Uh, can I right click, bring to front? Can I bring it to the front? I'm sure it'll show me how to do that. I'm gonna get the worst hunch with how like close I need to get to see because I'm blind. Add a layer, block the current layer and add a new layer to place more objects in your animation. Got it, oh, let's do that. Use library for assets. Select the library panel, drag and drop, wood plus glue. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess it just did that one for me. Okay. Okay, well, I need to adjust this one then. I'm gonna try again. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna work with this one being in front. We're gonna make it thinner. We're gonna bring it down. And then we're gonna do the same with this. Make it thinner. And we're gonna put it right there. Doesn't look as good. Like that. Really confusing me. Hang on. Look at our fire, guys. Look at that fire. I swear to God, there should be a way that I'm able to select where something goes, that I should be able to push it to the back. But maybe I'm thinking of Microsoft Word. <laughs> Swap symbol, cage to symbol, sprite sheet. Generate sprite sheet? What? You know what, guys? We did it. We. Let me move all this to the center. We did it. Look at us. That's a fire. I did figure out how to do the glow part or the wood. And I just realized the light has like opacity to it, so I can see the bottom of this one. <laughs> there we go, we did it. Okay, pause. Done. Congratulations. Safe. Did 
video. Swift. Wait. Flash, that's what I want. Tutorial. Bye. Use this first place, you can change it later from the No thanks. I'm so upset that they like they keep changing my my windows. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's just look at the online tutorials. A new age of animation. Okay. <laughs> I think I want to learn this one. But you'll need sample files. What? <laughs> Get files. Okay. Open. Extract. Put them there. Hey, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna bring this over. In this video, I am going to show you a new tool called the Asset Warp Tool. So here I have a character. Uh, all of its parts are nested inside a symbol. I'm gonna double click because this is where we're gonna actually perform the animation. And here in the timeline, you'll notice I have three different layers. The match head itself, this symbol here. Um, I have the flame art this? itself. And while we're at it, let's name that. Let me, let me open the things that it gave me. Uh, open? Download this uh, asset warping. There it is. How much of this is already done? What? <laughs> this is like completely finished. Where's the part where I do something? <laughs> And in the bottom layer is the stick. I'm gonna lock the stick layer and the match head layer for now because we're not going to be editing those. And I'm gonna convert those to outlines because I just wanna concentrate visually on the flame itself. So the asset warp tool is this icon here. It's a little push pin icon. And once selected, all we need to do is click inside the artwork itself to start placing pins. So the first pin placement I'm going to make down here, basically where the flame connects with the match stick. And now this pin is represented here by the center dot and this outer dashed circle. And you'll also notice a mesh has been applied to my shape. So let's create a few more additional pins. I'm just going to click in the artwork where I know I'm going to want to control the artwork. And that should pretty much do it. And now the fun part where we get to animate this shape. And in the flame layer that contains our flame you, artwork, I'm going to create a keyframe on every file. other frame. And so now in this second keyframe here on frame three, this is where I'm going to start to manipulate my mesh using the asset warp tool. So I'm going to start here. No stargaze, it is. And it's that let's picture make of the like tip of this flame go in the opposite him. direction. So you can click directly on that center point and move it to a new location. And if you hover over the outer dashed circle, you'll be able to click and drag and rotate the artwork. And repeating this technique, you can manipulate your mesh shape. And now that I'm kind of happy with the artwork on that keyframe, I'm going to create an additional keyframe here on frame five. And I'm going to continue editing the shape in unpredictable ways. Sometimes it even helps to study a flame, like even light a candle and, and watch how the flame flickers and try to repeat the randomness. Let's create a couple more keyframes and play with this mesh using the asset warp tool a little bit more. 
And you can see how quick and easy it is to deform your shape in very predictable ways. You can even right click and apply a classic tween to the keyframes that contain your mesh. So the Asset Warp Tool is a great new feature, which actually cuts down a lot of drawing time since you can manipulate a single shape in so many different ways. Wait, how did they just get everything? Wait, hang on, how did everything just move? Keyframes that contain your mesh. So the Asset Warp Tool is a great new feature, which actually cuts down a lot of drawing time since you can manipulate a single shape in so many different ways. New feature, which actually cuts down a lot of drawing time since you can manipulate a single shape in so many different ways. Even right click and apply a classic tween to the keyframes that contain your mesh. So the Asset Warp Tool is a great new feature, which actually cuts down a lot of drawing time since you can manipulate a single shape in so many different ways. Which actually cuts down a lot of Okay, so I guess the matchstick is a symbol with three separate things inside of it. So if I double click it, how did they do that? Can I just add things into this that aren't tweens? And then it'll just... Huh. It's good to know. But it is a symbol, right? It's a symbol. What? Can I do that with like this? Like if I click this and then I go into it. <gasps> it's already done that because there's already separate parts. This is a symbol, right? Is this considered... These are symbols? Are they not symbols? What are, they? what are these? Not from a library. This is a symbol. So if I just... Hang on. File. New. Give it a second. Um, it's just gonna standard. Okay, this, and then I draw like. Ugh. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's say I do that. Uh. Uh. Where's the convert symbol button? Where's the objects? Oh, here, there. I don't have it selected, do I? Object. Convert symbol. Yes. And then I can just... And add more? I can't! <gasps> what? What? This is blowing my mind.
Like, say, give it fancy hair, and then let's try that, um, where is it? It's supposed to look like a pushpin. I don't see it. Wait, why is there a problem with this? Pushpin! Push and let's do, like, a pin. That didn't work. Uh, add this to, let's add the, right there! Pin. And we'll put a pin here. And then one here. And I don't know if this is working. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's because they're not all connected, duh. Uh, uh. There we go. Hair. Okay, now let's try a uh, button. Some reason these aren't all connected. This is like, yeah. Let's, let's just let's just focus on this. Here we go. And, oh, it's, cause, it's probably because it's already like a separate thing. back what did I miss you missed a big revelation apparently okay let's try this again um, just to connect all this okay and then this okay we got it all okay pin there one here, one here, and one here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this, let's try this, let's try this. Uh, insert F5. Let's do like, um, Yes, and then we're gonna have it go. Did I just? Hello there, I just found your channel. Hello! We toy animates. Welcome to me trying to learn how what I'm doing again. Do that and then that uh, I'm not trying to make this be good, I'm just really testing something out. Okay, and then spring to spring. Copy. Put that back like right there. And is that, is it doing it? Oh, wrong button. looks terrible, but that's okay. And then we're just going to have this one do, um, just going to have it, uh, uh, And then back up. Oh! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Why does that keep happening? Why does that happen every time I try to do this? Oh, 
already. Why? Why does that happen? Just make it look like he's breathing. And then we go back to scene. And then let's extend this out like two seconds. Insert. And then... And then I could just have it like Guys Guys Oh my I can just edit this so he's not going as far and then just make a simple swing to the left where's the button that takes me to the beginning of the timeline why isn't that in my thing anymore guys I don't know if you can tell but I'm having a bit of a moment here <laughs> Oh my god, you can just do that. You can just do that. I didn't know you could just do that. What? Guys, my mind has been blown. Wait. That's not what I meant to do. Is there anything else I can learn? I want to learn more. What's this? Oh, hello. This is one of the... Man, this has got to be the cleanest beach I've ever seen. Not a single piece of trash. I'm starving. Hey, kid, would you drop some trash on the beach for me, please? Anything, preferably something I can eat. Maybe a french fry. Man, this has got to be the... I'm so confused. Can I like zoom out? <laughs> Here we go. This is the button. Nope. I don't want that. <laughs> okay. How is this working? I'm so confused. Okay, that's the background. The goal the audio there's something going on in the goal oh not a single piece of trash how is this happening how is this happening i'm getting like no information i just want to know it's the eye so you have an eye, iris, iris. What's the mouth? Should be kind of on top of everything, shouldn't it? Oh, here it is. What is this? What's going on? What? Man, this has got to be the cleanest beach I've ever seen. Not a single piece of trash. I'm starving. Hey, kid, would you drop some trash on the beach? Okay, that's pretty clean. Why do my ears even... How does this work? Is 
it says auto lip sync and I'm so confused. What do you mean? Four cats in my bedroom right now. I have one! He's right next to me. He's sleeping. Hello, Cameron Hernandez. I didn't see you before. How do they see you? What? Object? Lip sync. <gasps> sync with audio and layer. Automatically create lip sync in two steps. One set up the same as the set up. <laughs> what? Set up Vise Mess in your graphics in bullet two. Choose a layer containing the desired audio to sync. Hang on. Hang on. Um, fuck this audio. We're getting rid of that. Uh, import, we're about to make this seagull sing. Music. Uh. Where is my songs? Okay. And then new layer. library I don't hear anything not a single maybe if I go into you open this Object. Object. Lip syncing. Audio. No, I want to do a different one. I want to, I want to know. Wait, cancel, cancel. I'm just gonna straight up delete this layer. not hearing anything. I really don't understand. Oh, is it literally? God damn it. It's the it's fucking on event. It's not on stream or whatever. It's a stupid property thing. Done. Okay, now, 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 hang on. Go back to you. Man. Oh, I have to put it in this layer. This is where I need it. Oh, it's already in the library. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Guys. 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 Just thinking. Yes. Done. Hang on. Are you guys ready to see this? I'm... I don't know if it's working. Oh god, those eyes.
No, it's still using the other thing. How do I... Frame. Now let's try, let's try, let's try. I really want this to work. Oh my god, I think it worked. Guys, I think it worked. Don't know what it's like to drown away in a puddle of shame. You, yes, you made me insane. Okay, I need something with less, um, background noise. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Let's use this. Let's use this audio. Okay. And now... Oh god. Okay, and then clear keyframe, delete, insert, import. And now let's try that again. Let's try it again. Properties, object, lip syncing, layer three, done. You know, I really don't feel like cooking dinner tonight, so let's just, or I know Chipotle's doing the uh, delivery. Let's just do that. What do y'all want? Make it simple, because I'm. <laughs> oh my god! Because I'm not going to bust my butt ordering this food. Y'all are too picky. I'll get you damn tortilla, and that's all you're going to eat, but tell me what you want. Mom, I'm. Guys! <laughs> So crazy. You know, I really don't feel like cooking dinner tonight, so let's just, or I know Chipotle's doing the uh, delivery. Let's just do that. What do y'all want? Make it simple, because I'm not going to bust my butt ordering this food. Y'all are too picky. I'll get you damn tortilla, and that's all you're going to eat, but tell me what you want. Mom, I'm, I just want to... Guys, this is like blowing my mind. What? How does it do that? <sighs> what else is there? New. No. 
What is this one? Bicycle? Oh. Okay, forearm. Her body, pelvis. Oh, the bike is all one thing. Was it? Back pedal. Oh, God, guys. I can't think enough for this. I'm still like reeling over that audio sampling. And I'm also still trying to finish my dinner. Oh, that's a bone. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Cute though. What's this one? Oh, the shadow. What if I went into? I want to go into. See what's here. Oh, okay, so that's the belt. Top part of the pants. Oh, I didn't even notice. Shirt. Wait. Does it go deeper? No, not what I meant to do. Is that really all just... It does not go deeper. her hair? Where's her hair? This one. Nope, not what I meant to do. Where is this animation coming from? <gasps> it goes one layer deeper. <laughs> Fascinating. I want to look into the bike. Not what it meant to press. I wanted the bike. <laughs> I want to go into the bike. This bike has a ton of parts in it. Okay, and I think with this one they just combined a bunch of the layers together. Fascinating. What is this? What is that? Is that a pass?
Is there a pedal front? Gosh, it's not even that late, but this is like exhausting my mind. Okay, next up, we're just gonna close all these. Yes. Yes. No. 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 And we're just gonna remake my home thing. Let's get that music back. Okay. This is not how I want my setup. First off, this goes on the side. So stuff is fine here, but I need this on this side. Open. This needs to be way smaller. God, I don't even know what tools I need. I'd have to like, I wonder if I could find one of my old live streams where I used it. Uh, YouTube Studio. Videos, live, okay, what tools did I have? I had six miles, this needs to be wide enough so there's two. I don't want that part of that. I don't. I want those separate. Let me make those separate. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> don't get that separate. Got it. Okay. I can take him out. How do I take it out? Reset. <gasps> it's almost everything. I don't like these lines. I'm so close to having everything. I'm so close. Get that out of here. Okay, I just need to separate these two. I don't know how. Okay, 
compact. Comfortable. Close. Nope. Reset. Reset. Ah! Really wish I knew how to like take these out. Maybe if I. Oh, damn it. I will figure this out. <sighs> Google. Cool. Adobe Animate. How to unstack tools? Oh, this is about objects. Oh, so if I do this. Ah! <laughs> Figured it out! <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. This, and then this one. One. And then this one. And then the lasso. Nice, nice, nice. And then so everything back in here. And it was the pen. Text. Add everything back in. not okay so it's this wait yeah this one and then do I put a line between that that's how that works okay I'm figuring it out and the text tool and then this is the line tool okay and then square circle polygon Circle. Polygon. And then pencil, brush, brush. Pencil, brush, brush. I am the strongest creature of habit. Hello, Applesauce on Main Street and Blue Flower. Welcome. I'm trying to get my Adobe Anime reset up. I swear to God, if I go through all this work and it takes it away from me, I'm gonna be pissed. And then add that blood line. Yes. Paint bucket tool. Paint bucket with a square. Hydropper. Eraser. Where is it? Whatever this one is. And then the pen. Wanna taste 
And then the camera tool. Adding a line. And the hand. And then the zoom. Then we did it. Okay. And then a couple of these have. And so this has this. This is this. I assume the lasso is going to have everything else that's under the lasso. The square probably has this one. Circle most likely has that one. The bone tool. Fluid brush tool. What does that mean? What? Is this a pen brush? Oh, so it's like um, it's like this. But it doesn't end in points, they end in just whoo, they end in dots. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> also, I don't like this being over here. Could I move it? Watches. There they are. Bottom. And then zoom. I want anything else? Properties. Oh, I want that. Oh, it's right there. library? Is that what it wants? Form. I want this one. Where did it go? Oh, here's a brush library. There it is. Probably oh, all the way over there. I can't see that. <laughs> one like on info. Literally don't think I ever use it. I just want to have my thing how it looked before. <laughs> I 
second thing. Um, Adobe an no, let's go to Google. Adobe Animate 2020 timeline. Beginning and end of timeline. I guess that's just to focus on one layer. Click to, in the official Adobe help, it says click to camera. Just pair to hair really up. Onion skinning. Changing the appearance, ready for the how many people Just play the frame view pop and click frame view in the upper upper right. No, I don't like that on the bottom, I like it on top. short. Preview. Don't like that. Preview in context. No, I definitely want that standard. <laughs> a button that I really want. <laughs> Let me insert some frames. <sighs> Have to hold it. starting point. Kind of, you know, getting situated and everything. Just, ooh. Intimidate. 
Yeah, when I saw Adobe's new look, I was kind of stressed out. <laughs> like, really hitting that. Hmm. <laughs> this has changed everything. You know what? We're going to figure this out together. Check. Nope. Yeah, it's fine like that. Gosh, my hair is so short. And it's also like, it's actually a buzz cut. So really the only parts growing are the parts right here. It's shaved on the sides, not buzz cut, undercut. I have an undercut. It's shaved on the sides, but my hair is long enough where like I can pull it back and like put it in a man bun or whatever. But if I like set it loose, my hair looks like it's like that, like I'm from the 60s or 20s or whenever really short hair was popular especially if I curl it then I really look like I stepped out of a time machine <sighs> that was my knuckles really good starting block I still apparently know how to animate which is great always a plus but yeah we've been going for I think almost two hours. Uh, I managed to finish my dinner in that time frame <laughs> and I'm proud of the work we did and I got my thing all set up and hopefully it stays like that and doesn't change and doesn't do anything. Better not. <laughs> Color themes, what? What was that? What did that open? What did that? What did that do? What? <laughs> okay. Spaces. Swifts. Save. I'm gonna be so upset if that changed something. Oh, I I see a lot of animators who like work with the timeline on top. And I just can't do that. What other spaces are there? Basic? 
because that's the one it would start me out with. Classic. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people work like this. Debug. Chills. Smells great. Yeah, this is kind of how I work, just like opposite sides. We go back to mine. It's similar. I just like having my colors open. I think I'm kind of all set up, ready to start working on things in the future. Excited. I really thought there were going to be more tutorials. I was really surprised that there weren't. But I guess like it's a lot harder to do the hands-on one than just to be like a regular video tutorial. <sighs> but yeah! Okay, I think I'm going to end it here. I'm getting tired and I'm sore from the gym, so. Ah, so let's go ahead and. <sighs> okay, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And I hope to get started on some projects soon. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great night. And make sure to either Nightbot 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 that, that was so late! So you can either go ahead and hop over into my channel's Discord or you can also follow me on Twitch! And on Twitch, I'm currently doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke uh, Pokemon Sword, and that's going good. But yeah, feel free to join in, and hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for joining.